But I want to hop into the guests, so fuck off. Here we go. <laughs> hey, me fuck out of here for this week is kind of want to know what the appropriate age is for you to stop calling your aunts and uncles Aunt Terry, Uncle Bob. Like, when can you just call them their name? My Florida aunts and uncles that have been with me my whole life and have been father figures to me since my father passed, don't mind me calling them by their first names. However, my dad's side of the family, who lives here in Massachusetts, um, demands for me to call them aunt and uncle. And I don't remember them. I don't like them. Um, they stopped calling me and stopped talking to me when I was 18 years old. And I called them to tell them that my father was dead. So my fuck out of here is for them. And I just want to say fuck you and fuck out of here. All right, wow, that one, uh, that was a little, Man. little deep there. Um, sorry to hear about that, Sheridan, and you know that stuff sucks. But um, I'm going to jump in first on this real quick, and I know we don't normally comment on it, but it was a question, so fuck it, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Um, I am an uncle. Okay, I got four nieces. Okay, there is never an age that they're allowed to call me anything but uncle. Okay. I think to me, it's a sign of respect, right? That's like saying at what age can you stop calling your parents mother and father and start calling them by their first name? Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think you mm -hmm. should. Now, if you do, don't get me wrong. Understand what I'm saying. I don't care if you do like, you know, but like when my nieces say Brian to me and they do sometimes, right. I find it, I feel like they're disrespecting me. Right. Um, and I don't, enjoy, I don't like it. I'm not going to fight them on it or anything like that, but I don't appreciate when they just say, Hey, Brian, come here. Um, I think it's a sign of respect that they called me uncle Brian. Um, I grew up with them. Um, they grew up with me and I found it as a sign of respect that their friends would get so close to me that they wouldn't call me Brian, that they would start calling me uncle. Right. Um, that I personally believe there is never an age, um, that you should stop using those terms. And that's just my belief, not saying that's the way it needs to be. I agree. That's deep. <clears throat> that's deep. I agree because I, I grew up like that. I grew up that, you know, call your uncle or your aunts by their first name. You call them uncle or aunt, right? My nieces, my, one of my nieces does it on purpose. At, at the beginning, it used to irk me. It used to be like, she'll call me by my first name. But then I, when I've caught on that she just does it to piss me off, I'm just like, call me whatever you want. Just don't call me an asshole. Because <laughs> then, <laughs> then you get slapped. <laughs> so. No, um, I think, I agree. I feel like I should always be Thea. Like they, I have nine nephews and one niece, so big family. <laughs> and they're still growing. But um, the thing is with the older ones, um, I mean, I'm still young, obviously. I'm not old. And I grew up with them. <laughs> we, like, we were growing up together. So they kind of got used to saying either Tia Tachi or Tachi sometimes. Like, they're older now. They're, like, in their 20s because my older siblings are a little older. Um, and it'll slip here and there. Tia Tachi or Tachi. But I know that they're not – they will never say Natasha. They'll never be like, hey, Natasha, I need this. No, it's Tachi to be sweet. The younger ones, though, they don't – they know better. They all they all say tia tachi or titi tachi. None of them will ever just say tachi, because they're not there. I'm significantly older than them. We didn't grow up together. We didn't play together, so it's different. So that's where it's kind of different. Like my mom, for example, my mom calls her mother Lupe instead of mom, even though like she, she says it to be sweet and my grandma doesn't get offended. And then I kind of picked up on that habit. I'll call my mom Betsy and be like, hey, Betsy, we're like playing. But obviously when it's serious, it's mom. So just know when to say it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like, it's just 
Like that's how I grew up calling all my aunts and uncles by Titi or Tio. Yeah. That's that's just how I grew up. And uh, to Shrek Monster's point, it's really a sign of respect because it's okay. This is who you are in my life, mm-hmm. and I look up to you. So the least I can do is give you the respect by calling you by the by the name. Yeah. Because that's the thing I look yeah. at, right? There's a there 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 has to be a reason that these names came about, correct? Right? Because yeah. if there if there was no need for the uncle or aunt or grandparent, like you know, commentary, then why didn't why did it ever get created? Why not just say Bob or Bill or Natasha or um, Lewis or Brian or whatever else? Right? Th- it was created as a sign of respect to separate the respect of that person and who they are to you from everybody else. Right. Because yeah. if not, then there shouldn't, then why even have the term uncle and aunt just, we call each other by our names, right? Like doesn't make sense. There's, there's a sign, there has to be, it has to be considered something of respect or why even have them. I feel like Hispanics one up it though because I can't just go out to my tío or tío and be like, "Hey, tío," you have to say "bendición, tío," like yeah, an, an extra like bendición. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's basically asking for blessings. Yeah. Like so, blessings. Okay. And then they'll res- they'll respond, "Dios te bendiga" or something. Yeah. All right. Anybody yeah. got a FLH? They got a, They want to get off their chest? Yo, Yo I, I do, do bro. I. Dude. Damn, he almost broke the camera. Bro, yo, when I tell you this shit happened, bro, like, yo, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. I had a chill day. I had Chipotle. I resolved okay. the issue at work. I went to Walmart to check for a Hot Wheel. I couldn't find a Hot Wheel. Mm. And I'm walking back to the van. And that's where it happened. At the work van. This Toyota Camry had the audacity to park on my line to block my driver door. Oh. I was like, are you kidding me? Yo, I, I'm not going to say some stuff, but I had some very malice intentions. But I said, <laughs> no, <laughs> let me get away. So I had to go through the passenger. Bro, that, that yo, I, my soul out. I was I was annoyed. So yeah, fuck out of here. Great Toyota Camry. Bullshit. Okay. Anything, Tasha? I do. So, uh, yesterday was the day after a holiday. So, obviously, we didn't really um, deliver mail on Monday. So, I had Sunday's mail, Monday's mail, and Tuesday's mail. That sucked. Needless to say, that sucked. Okay. And then, obviously, it's not just the mail, it's all the packages. We have a bunch of new people at work. So, they don't really know the routes, like the city, that well. And they're going to need help. We know that. But if I'm coming in, I'm casing another route, marking packages for you here to get out, then starting my route to mark it so I can leave. And then I finally do my route and I get back like around, when did I get back? 730. They try to send me back out to go help somebody. It's We're supposed to be back in the office no later than eight. So anything after eight, no more scanning, no more mail, just be back. Right. But by the time I get to the person that needs help, it's 15 minute drive. So it's 730. I'm driving there and driving back. What the hell is the point? But you have to follow the order and then grieve it later because we have a union. So we just grieve it later. But I'm my fuck out of here is to the management that doesn't know how to properly delegate the damn office because this is an <laughs> everyday shit. Every day we got this is the fourth postmaster, for example, that we've had in the last year. So four postmasters, that's a lot. The supervisors are not supervisors. They're all just leads, which are regular carriers. Like Joe Schmo, they're just a regular carrier telling me what to do. Get your ass on a route and fucking pitch in. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> like, that's my fuck out of yeah. here. <laughs> my, my, my fuck out of here is it. Oh, there hey. it is. I was going to tell you what's going to happen, hey. dude. Hey. 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 We're almost done with the show. He just hey. barely he's makes hungry. it in time. It's time to eat. Oh, my God. We're about to wrap it up anyway. <laughs> We're literally at the end. <laughs> All right. So my, my okay. FOA, what's up, Nico? My, my FOA you? is this, right? To the person that keeps knocking at my door, and I don't want the fucking solar panels. It's only <laughs> two of us that live in this fucking house. We don't use enough electricity. I told you last week, no. What makes you think that this week I'm going to say yes? Motherfucker, fuck out of here. I don't want solar panels. I don't need them. I don't think 
I need them right now. So fuck out of here. Fuck your solar panels and stop knocking on my door. I actually hey. added on my ring doorbell that the uh, automated announcement saying we're not interested. So now he rings that shit says, sorry, we're not interested. I should have, it should let me record say, motherfucker, we're not interested. <laughs> Hey, you know, though, if you actually did the research, there's a lot of states, um, and I think Florida's one of them. There's incentives. No, not incentives. They'll they'll okay. do that shit for free. They'll pay for your yeah. installation. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it comes at a price, bro. I mean, t- trust me, it comes at a price. Nothing, nothing yeah, in life is free, bro. It's a fucking good world that we live in because it's you know economically better, but you know whatever. No, no, no. <laughs> nothing is free. You're gonna learn. You know that already. <sighs> yeah. All right. That was my FOH. So my FOH is very simple and quick. Um, as like we talked about earlier today, I'm going to be in the process of moving next week. And so I'm going to be, um, off the show for, for a couple of weeks. Um, but I, the, the cost, when people talk about the cost of living and what's going on in this economy is absolutely <laughs> absurd. Okay. Number one, nobody wants to fucking work. So everywhere I go, it's short fucking staff. Number two, mm-hmm. I look up the prices to rent a U-Haul. Cause that's how I moved up here and car tow and car hitch my car back down and I, I would tow it behind me they wanted three grand Dang. three grand do you theory. know that i was able to hire a moving company that's going to come in and physically move all of my belongings drive them down for me and then move all my shit into my new apartment and it cost me less than what it's going to cost um. me to rent that shit and do it on my own fuck out of here second Every goddamn place in Florida that I look for to live that was reasonably priced has like a year's waiting list or because Florida is so fucking weird is a is a minimum income property. And I made too much money to be able to live there. Fuck out of here. That's a good thing. No, it's not. This whole cost of living, this whole <laughs> joke that you should get paid less in Florida because the cost of living is less is absolute and utter bullshit today now it may change again but as of right now it costs me the same to get an apartment in florida as it would cost Mm -hmm. me to get one in jersey the only difference is there's no state tax fuck out of here the cost of living ain't cheaper fuck out of here for fucking u-haul companies fuck out of here for this whole process i'm goddamn tired of it and i haven't started packing a single goddamn thing yet and i'm already over it fuck out of here (laughs)